Good morning, everybody. I toast to you and all you do. Mm. It's been a minute since I made a video. I miss the Equinox. I mean, I didn't miss it, but I didn't make a video for it. We had a really bad sinus infection. I had to go get tested for COVID. The kids missed a whole week of school. It was drama. There was no COVID. It was just a sinus infection. It was <sighs> exhausting. That's what it was. It was exhausting. So, <laughs> I hope everybody had a fantastic equinox. I hope that you are enjoying the season change. It has been very exciting around here. I'm doing lots and lots of pickling and canning. I actually burnt my face the other day. I was sanitizing a jar and I slipped and it splashed water, boiling water all over my face. Luckily I had my glasses on because it probably saved my eyeballs. It got me pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it's keeping me really busy. I've got probably like nine cases of things that I've jarred from the garden with tomatoes and green beans and jalapenos and serrano peppers. My serrano peppers this year exploded and just did so much. So I've been picking and picking and picking and it's been a great harvest. So I hope your harvest is also going well. It's exciting. We're almost to Samhain. It's going to be soon. Can't wait. Um, if you're in the Colorado area, Denver Pagan Pride will be on Halloween this year. Very exciting. It'll be in Washington Park, which will be super fun. Uh, so that's on the uh, east side of east side of Denver. So um, it's a really pretty park if you've never been there. If you're interested in vending at Denver Pagan Pride, uh, please uh, go to denverpaganpride.com and or org. I don't remember. Anyways, if you Facebook search Denver Pagan Pride, it'll pull it up. Melanie is amazing. She's the coordinator over there. Um, and they are looking for more vendors and stuff like that. So it's free if you're coming to just hang out. Uh, the booths are pretty cheap uh, if you're looking for a booth. Um, but yeah, so check that out. It should be very exciting. I'll be there with the booth. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, so that's exciting. That's what we're getting ready for right now. Uh, we have loofah gourds galore. I should have brought out one. We had one that's already dried and it's a loofah. It's so exciting. So maybe this week I'll be able to get over to the farm and make a video to show you the hundreds of loofahs that we're about to have. So that's very exciting. Um, so yeah, I hope that your harvest is going as great as mine. Uh, the whole reason we, we're here today though is actually because we have the dark moon coming up. So we have the dark moon. <laughs> My daughter, she wrote on my paper. She added words. She's four. It's funny. Anyways. <laughs> so I have the dark moon and Libra on the sixth. She put numbers next to mine, so it made it kind of confusing. <laughs> Anyways, so we have the dark moon and Libra coming up. But more excitingly, astrologi astronom astronomically, astrologically, all of those things, we have a bunch of shifts happening right now. So... <clears throat> Mm, excuse me, I'm still getting over the sinus infection. All right, so not only do we have all of these things happening, but a lot of them are happening in Libra. So we have a lot of this balanced energy. So you're going to feel <clears throat> like you need to balance out your energy and kind of find the right way. So um, we have... Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have four planets changing directions right now. That's the big exciting thing. So we have Pluto going direct, which is a really slow transition. So you're probably already feeling this. If you have Pluto in your chart, you're probably feeling this a lot. So little Scorpios, we're feeling this. Um, a lot of times it'll make you feel stuck. It'll make you feel like you're not moving. Because like, ah, it's such a slow transition for Pluto to go direct because it's so far away. So it'll actually probably take about two weeks um, on either side of the 6th is the official day. But for the energy and shift and whatnot, it'll probably be all the way until the 12th. So you're feeling it now all the way to the 12th and just this slow transition of Pluto going direct, which is a transform transformative energy. Pluto, it marks the end. So as it's been in retrograde all of this time, we've been undoing and untwining and digging deeper and diving and, and searching and looking. And now that it's transitioning and it's stationary, it's about to go direct, come out of retrograde, we're ready for that transformation. So let that transformation happen. Um, I've been listening to the Nina Simone song. Um, 
where she talks about it's a new day and it's just such a perfect song for the energy that's happening right now because it is it's a new day it's a new dawn it's a new time <laughs> Uh, so we also, on the 10th, we have Saturn going direct, which is a reality check. Saturn says, hey, I've been telling you to look deeper into who you are and how you interact with the environment and the society and your moral code and your standards and your karmatic justice has been really like, look at what you are doing. And so now as it transitions back to direct, we really feel that as a reality check. Um, it will help you you know make a contract with yourself like this is time to do this this is time to set those goals it's also a great time to look inwards and to say well what goals am i setting for myself so that i can be a better person in my society and so you kind of feel that we also have jupiter going direct which is an expansive expansion energy it is outwards contradictory to saturn which is inwards but we're looking in Jupiter is outwards. It says, how are you interacting with everything around you? You know, what are your horizons? So as all of these transitional energies happen and we feel this shift, you're going to feel like, oh, I'm ready to start something new. I'm ready to let go of the old. Eris, the mini planet way out there, is really involved in a lot of these things too. It's conjunct with Pluto and it is calling on you it says what is it that you need to do in order to do the right thing to be the bigger person to do the thing that is you know calling on you Eris is uh, you know she's the goddess of chaos she was the one that was not invited to the dinner uh, and she called them on it she said you know BS why didn't you invite me we're gonna have problems like this is the reality check so we're feeling this reality check we're feeling this transition we're feeling the motivation to make that transition so make it make those commitments make those changes this new moon in Libra can really help you see the balance and help you make that right choice so that you can move forward um, we also have mercury going direct on the 18th um, so all of these things in the early October are really forcing our energy forward and making that transition. Nice Hold on a second. It's breakfast time, so we had to get to breakfast. Anyways, so we have all of these planets going direct right now, which is, again, making that really bubbly, forward, motivated, let's do this energy. Um... Which, with all of the energy right now, with the harvest and the equinox and the and fall, that's another, naturally the earth is charging and it's ready. It's making, like, again, this is the energy that you feel underneath the surface because naturally earth is getting ready to go into hibernation and transition into winter. So we're making all of these changes. So we have all of this building energy, all of this shifting energy, all coming together in this time of transition so some things to be aware of is where is your focus because that's kind of you know are you focusing on the drama are you focusing on the negative are you focusing on the things that are not helping you or are you focusing on the productive you know where are you finding that balance Libra is just a constant reminder that you need to find the balance you need to do the right thing you know where are you in that um, we also have a great T-square going on right now with Mercury in Libra, T-squared to Aries and Pluies, Plute, Pluies, <laughs> Aries and Pluto. So again, we're calling on this purposeful disruption to make something better happen. Like, gotta mix it up. Aries just comes in and mixes everything up and she says, look, this is, it's time to change. We got a lot of her energy right now and... She says we have to make that change so we can allow for this new awakening, not just on a personal level, but on a grand global level. Uh, I know a lot of times I just talk about personal levels because I don't like to infer to the greater society. But as you see, as a greater society, we are making these transitions. The governments are scared. The people of authority are scared. They see the people rising up and like shaking the foundation like this is not how we want to live. 
And so you see a lot of that all over the world, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. And this transition is rumbling underneath the surface and really like bubbling and calling for us to make these changes. Um, and then, oh, we also have an exact square between, oh, that's the thing between Eris and Pluto. So they're really, right? So we have all of these transitioning energies really forcing each other to push for that transition. Um, so with all of that being said, uh, Libra, the Libra moon is conjunct with Mars, which is conjunct with the sun because it's the dark moon. And then that Mars is conjunct with Mercury. All of them are in Libra. So we have Mercury, Mars, moon, and the sun hanging out in Libra saying, hey, let's find this balance. Let's call for this transition. Let's make these changes happen. And let's really call for fairness and equality. Um, oh, and the last little bit is we have Uranus and Mars with the quincunx. Now, quincunx is a harsher angle. It's not so nice. But what it says is, hey, expect the unexpected. Something is changing. Something is transitioning. And we're really feeling that right now. So expect that. Expect that unexpected thing to happen. Be prepared for that transition so that you can make that change. It's time to make the change. If you have been questioning, if you have been in this state of stuckness, if you have been like, well, maybe kind of wishy-washy, I need to make a change. Now is the time make that change, see what you need to do, let Libra highlight the whole situation. Libra is really good at saying here is the big picture so that we can find that balance. And with all of these things together in Libra, they're all saying communicate, power, move forward, find that change, find the balance. Um, and then you know, you just because of Libra's energy, seeing that grand picture, just be mindful of where you're making your focus. If you focus on the negative, then you're going to manifest that negativity. If you focus on the positive, then you'll manifest that positivity. So under this new moon that's coming up on the 6th, definitely focus on what it is that you want and manifest that. Harvest that energy. Make it happen. Know that this is what you want and set it in your mind's eye so that you can achieve that. Uh, you know, you don't have to do spell work. You don't have, I mean, you can, it helps. It definitely helps your focus. But if you mentally just focus and know and create that vision in your head, that's what you will manifest. So this is a great manifestation moon. It is a great time to put your energy into something so that it'll blossom and grow through these winter months in this giant time of transition. So, I challenge all of you to ponder where your focus is. Really think about what you're focusing on. Where do you keep being drawn back to? You know, if you're trying to make plans for this other thing, but you keep being drawn back to something else, why is that? So think about where your focus is and write it down and write where you want your focus to be. And do they line up? And kind of think about that and how you're making those transitions. So, I hope everybody has a fantastic new moon, dark moon here in Libra coming up in just a few days. So, I got to get this posted. <laughs> uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I toast to you. Uh, it froze. I toast to you and all you do. And we will see you guys soon.